Greetings and amazing guardians, my name is Hyper Himes and welcome back to Kicker Run Kingdom. So after a little bit of time, after trying to get as many courses as I can, which let's be honest, it was barely any, I just wanted to get a couple days worth, which was only the equivalent of 200. Cause and that's oh that's also after watching as many ads as I could just so I could actually like get it up to that high. Uh, we're actually finally back with a mermaid's tail because let me tell you these things are not doing any better for my cores. Cause for example, under the ocean, uh, look how many cores this takes. Uh, 33. <laughs> I don't even think we'll have enough for like six, maybe five. I'm getting the hiccups already. Great. Maybe five levels. I'm probably gonna try for six. I don't know, but. Before I even get started, I will be reading comments from the video called This is no ordinary cookie from Mermaid's Tale, which for some reason that has over a thousand views, which I'm not complaining about that at all. I'm just surprised how many people like that video, which there's an absurd amount of comments on this video. So I may have to answer them at a faster pace because, you know, since it has a larger amount of views, I have to go through them faster. So with that being said, if you want to leave your questions and comments down in the comment section below for me to read on the video, then feel free to do so. It could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different. It doesn't really matter because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day, and we appreciate being around each other from community to creator and creator to community, that's what usually should matter the most. I remember when 776,000 was like some of the beginning level like difficulty. I'm pretty sure like if we go back to like the very start, uh, <laughs> that was some of the beginning levels of uh, hard difficulties. And now we're basically back on pace of a uh, hard and difficult and death. Fantastic. Okay, so let's go for under the ocean. And then after we make it through this level, which, by the way, I'm just going to stick to doing just normal mode. There's no way I'm just going to go through hard mode and then waste all those quills in losing. I'd rather you not. Okay, so let's actually read a comment while I'm doing this level from which it's a name that I just couldn't understand. But the comment says, use cotton for the dark mode of the newer story. Uh, her sheep tanks a lot of damage. When did I have black pearl on my team was that i did I, did I always remember having black pearl on the team i do not remember having black pearl on the team i legit i don't think i remember am i forgetting something i don't think i am i mean i know no no no, no i definitely no i definitely don't have because why does she have the costume hold on wait what's going on here what i guess it's maybe one of those necessities on the team since like oh you guarantee you need to have her because uh you know what is it like because the story introduced her and uh prince oyster or lord lord oyster i'm sorry apparently yeah they're just on the team i guess even though she has the costume can i still use her as my cookie that's what i'm curious about uh but anyways now that we're through level we got to go through a bunch of comments quickly because there's so many in the team like let me just do a quick check real quick for under the ocean uh yeah it has yeah it gives you uh can i at least edit it to make it mine Okay, but it changes it to Black Pearl. I guess that's not as fitting, but... Eh, whatever. We'll, we'll take what we can get. So the next thing is Garden of the Sea, which is 35 quills. Oh, fantastic. Well, I may as well go for comments before I go through this. There's a couple comments from Shadow Dust of one saying, common question, either Aquamarine, Froed Jellyfish, or White Pearl. Yeah, all those mermaid aquatic creatures are very beautiful. Another uh, thing he says is, uh, Mystic Opal seems more flat compared to the rest of the mermaids. Maybe it's because she's supposed to be an NPC not playable cookie? Kind of hope not. Well... Aren't the other cookies NPC cookies like uh, Plubbing Aquamarine or uh, Crimson Coral and uh, citru Golden Citrus or Golden Citron? I don't know. And your last comment says the suspense of the story is killing me. Lord Oyster and White Pearl's relationship seems uh, seems so good. How could it go so badly? Oh, just you wait, because it most likely will. And also, Lorechi left a comment saying, comic question of the day, Frill Jellyfish Cookie and Aquamarine all the way. Really? Another person saying both of those cookies specifically. Oh, they, may, they must have a certain charm that they specifically see, which, and yeah, whatever, I think they're cute. Anyway, back to the story. This. This place has the best view of our kingdom, Tear Crown. We call it the Garden of the Sea. It's stunning. I could spend all day here gazing at this beauty. Look. The moonlight is shining through the surface. It's like a curtain of light wrapped around the kingdom. It looks so peaceful. That's not always the case. What do you mean? Storms. Us gem mermaids are creatures that rely on the strength of the sea to protect our kingdom. The sea watches over us, and we look to the sea for strength to grow our kingdom even stronger. But that doesn't mean that the kingdom is always serene and beautiful. Nothing remains still and in balance forever. Not even the sea. And when the sea is out of balance, so is our kingdom. That's when the gem mermaids must take a stand to protect the sea. I want to become someone who can fulfill that duty too. An eternally radiant figure. 
able to help and protect Tear Crown. You will. I know it. I have seen so much throughout my life, but I've never met anyone as radiant as you. Just hearing your words, I feel radiant already. The sea called me Little Moon. And that hasn't happened to any other Gem Mermaid before. Little Moon. If I just let the eclipse pass by like this, I'll cease to be Little Moon, much less a Gem Mermaid. Even so, you still see me as a radiant being? Little Moon. That name suits you well. After all, I'll always look to your radiance, no matter what form you take. Like the moon gazing down at the sea? Yes, like I'm gazing at you right now, in this moment. That's... so beautiful. Your words are like a curtain of safety enveloping me. I wonder... can I treasure this moment forever? Yes, you can. Just kiss already! I too wish that time would stop. Just for us. Just for now. I, I guarantee you off camera that was there was a straight up kiss moment going on right there. If if that wasn't if that's not, I I don't know what is. But apparently there's more levels along the way like beyond the ocean's embrace, 35 quotes of course, persistence or no persistent threats and rising threats. Does it does it get any easier? I have no idea. Which most most likely not honestly. Uh, those are more comments I need to go through because there's a lot on the video like I mentioned. There's a bunch from Mona once or Mona Wolf Deer once saying to my grandma called us then uh, I hate people. Dad got angry and was like why do you talk like this the first time I hear this? I always say I hate people, huh? I've never heard have I heard you say you hate people? I don't know. I, I know that you simp for a lot of cookies, so I guess there's that, but I don't know. Another comment you left of common question, Crimson Coral, she let me remember a lot about red characters. I mean yeah. She literally reminds me of Dark Enchanted Cookie herself. Except not as evil, I don't think. Another comment you say is, I want to say licorice cookies. <sighs> Can you simp somewhere else? Not on this channel, are you kidding me? I guess I can't really stop you. And your last comment says, Cookie that I don't really like. You point at Dark Choco, myself, the OC, milk cookie. I really hate milk cookie, herb cookie. That is a weird way on how you could format that comment, but I guess I can't really judge you. Oh, you left one more, of course, saying, I forgot to say Crystal Cup, clear cookie birthday, 12 of August, so happy birthday to her. Happy birthday, Cup cookie? Crystal cup cookie? Crystal clear? I... I mean, if that's your name, then, like, shout us to you. I'm, I'm proud of you. Like, th like, I'm not trying to disregard you having a birthday. No, de definitely not. I'm just saying, like, I never heard of you before. And I've never heard Mona ever, you, ever even mention you before. So, and yeah, whatever. Oh, my gosh. There's so many levels that we need to go through. Follow me. It's just a bit further up. We're almost at the surface. No one would believe me if I told them I just walked on the bottom of the ocean. It was truly unreal. I'll never forget it. And breathed and observed with your eyes open, because it's already hard enough keeping your eyes open in the sea, at least to my knowledge, because I have very sensitive eyes. And also, survive. <sighs> well, then we should... Could we postpone our goodbyes just for a bit? I don't want to think of this as the end for us. All right. We're simply parting momentarily, waiting for our next encounter. <laughs> I like that. Now, the eclipse will start soon. Please stay safe, White Pearl Cookie. The eclipse? You look concerned. Is it because of... the sea? I wonder... Does the sea really love me? The sea called you Little Moon, remember? If anything, it means you can shine on your own. A moon that shines on its own. You're a moon that can shine on its own. So, don't be afraid. And just give it one more try. You really think I can? Do I even have such strength within me? You're already shining so radiantly. You're my moon. <laughs> then you are my sea. The sea only I shine upon. Take this pearl. There's the pearl. As long as my tear, the gem of a mermaid, is with you, you will not turn soggy in the sea. Take it. And once you have accomplished all your goals, come back to meet me again. When I have gained my powers from the sea, and become a true gem mermaid. I can only imagine how that's going to turn out. I swear, it's, it's just... It's, it's, I'm pretty sure you're doing math, I'll only be able to do two more levels if it stays at 35, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm pretty... Like, because if, if we just did 33, 6... Yeah, I could only do two more levels. I've only went through, like... I mean, I did go through a level, then a cutscene, then another cutscene, but, like, are you kidding me? This is this is where we're legitimately at in regards to quills. Oh. 
Madness. I have to read a comic question of the day anyway and get back to reading a bunch of other comments because there's so many comments in the video, but I want to try and get to each and every single one of you, but I got to get to it quicker because I only have so much time to make videos for. So anyway, with that being said, for a comic question of the day, honestly, how do I... I, I was going to think of it, something interesting in regards to pirates, but uh, I feel like... Uh, you, you know what, let's do something stupid. You know how pirates have parrots? Well, if you ever had an animal companion, what would it be? Like, let's say you just had a trusty steed for an animal, but you wanted some sort of a companion. And you you can even go all out for this. You could just say, you know, normal answers like, I don't know, dog, cat, bird. But you can just go, like, all out. Imagine saying, like, I don't know, I want, like, a companion, like, fox. Or, like, I, I want a plumbing companion, like, chimpanzee. Like a little monkey. Or like a companion donkey, donkey, like a plumbing carrying pack one. Like a camel. Or even a plumbing... You could, you could just go unreal with it if you wanted to, but I feel like I should just keep it to like realistic animals. Imagine having a companion elephant. That would be busted. That would be broken slow. But, man, those things are heavy and they can carry stuff. Alright, so now we have persistent threats. Which, we're gonna have to go through two more levels. And, uh... After that, I don't know what's gonna be next, but it's probably gonna show us some boss monsters. So, we need to go through this... And there's also more comments I forgot that we need to go through, so that's fantastic. So I may as well just... It's, three, it's like 3 o'clock, how is that driving by? Anyway, we'll just go through this and read some comments while we go through the level. Like for example, Idiotic Valentine left a comment saying Lord Oyster's Riz is over 9,000. Okay, you gotta be honest, he does have some gr pretty good Riz. Which I've only learned more about what that word means. Oh, there's there's that, it's a good thing I have that uh, plumbing uh, thing. Uh, but yeah, you do have to admit, he's got some pretty good Riz trying to... Uh, Serenade and oyster, like a uh, plumbing uh, mermaid, like that. I was about to say serenade and oyster. What's wrong with me? Uh, hit him with that. Uh, it's a good thing we got some major damage dealers, especially now that we have Black Pearl Cookie with the sweet, sweet crystal jam, which that's definitely gonna help us in the long run. I like how some of the bosses are just the pirates, but bigger. Like we can't come up with something more original. Anyway. There's so many more comments. Like, for example, there's two from Princess Blue. One saying, why does Lord Oyster not have Cookie in his name? I don't know, because they're a lord? I don't know. And the other comment is, because, uh, like, how can you put a lord of oysters in a cookie? Unless we call it Oyster Cookie, but that already exists. And the other comment says, I love aquamarine design, especially since it's my favorite color, blue. That does make sense. I mean, blue, blue, makes sense. A name that I can't understand, which you left a rather long comment, but, like, it's so long. Talking about the theory about Squid Ink being a former Tear Crown member, so who's an epic costume with golden memories, and you know the other cookies gold being gold citron. Also having Squid Game, uh, Squid, <laughs> Squid Ink's costume brings up memories, and according to Black Pearl's new costumes, the mermaids are also sea monsters, and Squid Ink is also a sea monster. I gotta give you proper shouts to that. That is a good theory, all right there. And your other comment says, comment question today. If I had to decide, I choose Crimson Core. If you were ever to be released, Pattaya's packing their bags. But overall, I love the Tear Crown cookies. Yeah, all of them are good. All of them are goaded. And also, Lorecci left another comment, which I didn't even know, saying, uh, 741, ah, uh, yes, that's definitely Moonlight Soul Stone. It's totally not a Black Pearl Soul Stone. Dude, when I make these videos late at night, don't judge how I act, because I'm clearly one of the most idiotic cookie run YouTubers that, like, you'll probably ever see. Like, there's no way I'll be able to reach the ranks of, like, actual good content. Like, literally, I just had a stressful moment after that, like, I don't know, just, like, a couple minutes earlier, like, 30 minutes earlier before I recorded, like, I just didn't record, just because, like, I just had this, like, message in my brain just saying, like, you won't be as good enough as, like, amazing cookie run content creators that you've watched. And I'm just kind of there, like, yeah, maybe you're right. Like, maybe that won't be the case, because I already suck. So if you ever make fun of me, then don't worry. All of it is justified. Just don't worry. Just, like, clown on me as much as you need, because, like, I definitely... There, there's no reason to, like, not make fun of me. I will never reach any other rank in regards to any other cookie run content creator. I'm s I am know it's me talking down upon myself, but... It's just me being honest, like, genuinely. It's me, it's me and how I feel. Ugh, I'm so down on that. And it won't leave my brain. I wanted to vent about it, but I thought that would make me feel insecure. Anyway. No, no not right now. Uh, there's only... There's still so many comments. So we just... I want to dedicate the rest of the video to, like, leaving comments. But the thing is... What the heck is that thing? Is that a crab boss? 36. What... Well, I feel it. We, 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 we should try and reach it, right? There's got to be somewhere that can just, like, get us some quills. At least some certain amount. Like, I'm begging you, game. Like, just so Oh, I thought that was some right there. No, really? Really, no. I should probably claim all of these, to be honest. And, like, progress through the... Can it tell us? I... 
if only I swear if it doesn't get I swear do I have to go ahead and buy I'm not I'm not gonna wait to like buy quotes I'm, or I mean, I'm not gonna wait for them to recharge at this point if I'm this close should I just like drop the cash uh, you know devs sisters this is what happens when you try and make us wait literally upwards of like 30 or 40 minutes just for quotes to recharge I know it's not 30 it's 40 make fun of me again but that means I'm gonna have to like upload this at, like six o'clock or something with how long I have to wait So I'd rather not there look at that. I got quills now all of you can clown on me again and make fun of me again for being a pay-to-win idiot Who just sucks at the game? Anyway, I yeah, this definitely seems like the end at least I think there's definitely gonna be more coming soon Which is gonna be fantastic, which I don't even know when the next update is gonna be happening But whatever this seems to be the last level I'm pretty sure for now being the abalone cookies aqua mech. Wait, there's a mech When did the plug learn how to make robots? Oh, what is it? Aquamax armor ignores all incoming damage except crit damage. Oh. Really? Are you joking me? Do I really have to... Is Black Pearl okay? No, it doesn't even say that she's required anymore. I can just replace her. Great. So now I'm going to need to think of like... A... And by the way, I just realized... That... Wait, is there... No, that was easy mode. So now I'm going to have to think of some sort of a strategy and look up another guide to like see what cookies can work on this. Because if I can't damage them normally, that means I'm going to have to like... Because like, the, ver the first thing that like pops up in my mind is like Twizzly Gummy. Because I'm pretty sure she's a, a major like crit hitter. I'm pretty sure, right? Like uh, her crit damage is increased and the enemies are... Like I feel like that'd be like a big necessity. Great, now I gotta set up another team. I didn't even realize you have that much power. I'm hoping this combi works, because if it doesn't, then I'm gonna have to, like, work out. And by the way, I actually do need a Black Pearl for this, apparently. Uh, it's still required, which is fantastic. And by fantastic, I mean still ridiculous. Okay, let's actually get through this. I just want this to be done. Like, I'm now just tired over all the quotes and people just, like, saying that I'm an awful person. Uh, what do I do? I'm so nervous. Is this really supposed to make me this shaky? The sea called you Little Moon, remember? If anything, it means you can shine on your own. You're a moon that can shine on its own. So, don't be afraid. And just give it one more try. I... trust that cookie. It's just like he said. I'm a moon. Loved by the sea and the cookies. Shining on its own. Your power surging through me, Almighty Sea. Is this the real me? That's correct. You are the one that shines in the dark. Your power can only shine where there is no light. Even if the eclipse blacks out all light above, your light will protect the sea. I can do it. I could do it. I could become the real me I so longed for. <laughs> the moonlight disappeared. But why? There's still time left before the eclipse. This is no eclipse. What is happening? <gasps> My lady! Frill jellyfish cookie! Everyone else has already gone to the borders of the water. Yes. Let us go too. Quickly. Okay, now we're just playing through the stage. Okay. Can we still do damage? Okay, that's actually a solid amount of damage, I'll admit. You know, that's good right there. Okay, I guess I activated both. Okay, now I'm terrified. Okay, hopefully Holly Mary can just hold out against all that damage. I'm praying at least. Uh, big zap. Hopefully there's they don't have enough healing. Okay, yeah, they have like no to nothing. We're, we should be good. I'll activate that for all the plumbing buffs and stuff. Uh, okay, so now it's going to be giant crab now, right? It's a, gi it's a giant crab. He's here to capture us. <laughs> the eclipse is starting! Brought on it! Shoot the harpoon! Hit any creature that you see! Look at that hollow whale! What's all that stuff on it? It looks so unnatural and terrible! Oh, it's different from the other hollow whales I've seen. It seems as if it knows how to fight the sea. Quiet! This invasion will not be the end of Tear Crown. Now, sisters, prepare yourselves. Let us show these creatures who rules the sea with powers gifted by the all 
mighty sea itself! <laughs> there you are, mermaid! This time I won't go easy on ya! Okay, well it's time for a boss. Let me just do this real quick first. And let's see if that does... Okay, that does a literal, a minimal amount of damage. That's good. Well, at least, uh... At least I'm pretty sure uh, Black Pearl also did some damage. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I'm terrified of those doing big damage, I'm gonna be honest. Which, but I wonder if, uh, her Soul Stone can also, uh, do wonders for us. And by Soul Stone, I mean Crystal Jam. Which, you, you know what I mean. This is gonna, this is gonna be slow. Which, can we do, I, I think we'll be able to do it in the time limit. I'm hoping that we do at least, because if not, then, uh... Yeah, if saying that we're gonna be in the pickle is definitely gonna be an understatement. Uh, but let's hope that the uh, big damage from uh, the crystal jam is gonna be able to help us in this. I'm praying at least, because if not, then uh, we are done. Like, and I still have a lot of comments to go through, so this video might be way longer than usual. But then again, when does that have ha when has that has ever stopped me? When has that ever stopped me before? That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I'm, I, I've just been self-degrading myself like this whole video, at least near the uh, near the other half. Come on, please, big damage. I, I, did it just not work? That, or maybe it's just like working now. But like, dear lord, this is making me petrified because I don't even know if we'll have enough time for this, honestly. It's gonna look super close, and if that doesn't work, I have no idea what else will. Because then I'm gonna have to- oh, I'm gonna have to sit through the whole cutscene too? Oh my gosh. Oh, there's no way. It's only at half health and we have 45 seconds left. Oh, great. What am I supposed to do about this thing? I literally have to, like, go back and retreat because, like, we have, we have nothing. We need, like, another thing that does, like, crit damage because nothing else that we can do, can do works. Oh, my gosh. I'm, like, getting upset at this. Like, I, I don't know why I should be. All right. I, I know it's at, like, 2 million health, which, like, yeah, sure, that's kind of low. But, like, by the way, there's all those quotes to go to waste that I literally had to drop money on. Now I have to think of another team just to think of how we can beat that level. I don't... There's really not a skip button for the cutscenes. Are you kidding me? That's that's actually awful. I'm not. I, I wish I was joking you, but no, no, no. That's actually how it works. You cannot skip the cutscenes. It's just like when you like when you die or anything like that. You, you're just stuck like that. Oh, of course, Twizzy Gum is about to die. Of course. Just why not? And of course, I have no opportunity to heal. Please. Okay, there we go. You, you know, I would prefer you if you. I could use Cream Puff, but like. Oh my gosh, and we're back to the cutscene stuff. Da -da 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 -da. Activate that immediately. Do that. Uh, let me activate that just for all the heals. Use Oyster just to block any damage, because apparently Oyster can use crit damage as well, which is good. Uh, apparently Pure Vanilla almost died, which I'm concerned about. This is actually like making me terrified. Like, look, look at all that damage, excuse me? Like, oh my gosh. Like, we are doing way more damage and way faster, but I'm just so much more fragile that it actually starts to make me freak out. There's the skill again, that's good. And of course, it blocks, cre like, pl blocks Cream Puff skill, because why not? Just make my whole entire life torment, why not? More of that, more crit. Okay, please heal right there. I need as much damage done as possible. We're doing this, I'm pretty sure it's now possible. But, jeez. I'm just terrified. Come on, blockade, blockade, heal now. Okay, again. Uh, it's up quickly. Hopefully it's- okay, it's under a million. Please, we should be able to do this. I'm hoping at least. I swear, if we die right now, I will actually, like, scream in a pillow or something. Okay, end it, end it. Okay, oh my gosh, we finally actually got it. Oh. There's no way that's your voice. I'm sorry. It's too. It's it's not as manly enough. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> ah, looks like those old tales about the sea deity had some truth to them after all. I had my doubts last time. But seems like those of the sea can wield its strength as well, huh? Well, it sure isn't the best way to find out. But now I know that the legend of the sea fairy tears must be true too. Once I find and catch every creature that lives by the remaining. I'll earn a fortune! <laughs> Can you just die now? But I won't risk losing my trophies I've caught so far. 
Did you say the ship was captured? Uh huh. He's running away. Should we chase them? That was not the expression of someone who's given up. He will return soon. An offensive was never our purpose. Take care of the injured first. Oh, the machine is just... Oh, it, it was ran by the anchor person. Okay, well, that makes sense why they also talked. But, okay, is that it? For story? I feel like that should be it for the story as of right now. I know there's definitely obviously going to be more levels, but still. Which I hope if there's more levels, they reset it back to, like, I don't like, five quotes when it started back. There's also the calm before the storm. Oh my gosh, Plumbing, before we get into that, I'm just going to read all the comments that are available left, which I'm just going to speed run through because there's still so much time in the video that I used up. Smart and Spiral left a comment saying, Oh my, white pearl cookies, you got trapped. Man, I'm just starting to pl uh, play the current episode, special episode right now, and at 1109, I think real jellyfish cookie is my favorite. I love the design though. Understandable. And also, Brooks left a few comments saying, Comment question of the day, real jellyfish cookie, and I'm here first. Well, congratulations to you. Here's, uh, here's the claps. I give claps to the people who say they're first, because why not? I don't want you to leave the channel. Draco left a comment saying, For a comment question, I think all the characters have really awesome designs. I personally really like Frill Jellyfish Cookie. She's a pretty little mermaid jellyfish thing, and her voice is very soft and it definitely fits her. All the mermaid cookies just look very good, and they also very good. Also, even though Abalone Cookie is a huge jerk, I must admit his design voice are kind of cool. Anyways, great video is always Hyper Rhymes. Yeah, he is pretty much a jerk, but he does have a good design with the voice. And I'll, I see a lot of people really liking Frill Jellyfish Cookie, which I wonder if there's some sort of a favoritism. But, like, personally, I think she's cool. I just think Gold Citrus better. Another comment from Alan Parker says, See Fairy, how dare you confuse my girlfriend with her? I'm sorry, okay? I suck. Just please unsubscribe and kill me. Uh, Game with some gaming left a comment saying, My favorite sea themed cookie from this story is Lord Oyster. He's a kind hearted sweetheart and the biggest black pearl cookie symbol on the planet. That does make sense. Uh, Tal. Ta Talilof one froggy left a comment saying I really want to buy your merch. But I have four pennies in my bank account. Sorry for my bad grammar. It is currently one uh, ten nineteen. That's completely fine. Please, you don't have to buy anything from me. I'm not forcing you to buy anything. As I always say in the outros, I wonder if anyone sticks around for the outros. But I always say I'm not. I, I'm not forcing you to buy anything at all. I'm just saying there might be something interesting in the shop that you might be interested in. But I don't know. That's me. There's only a few more comments. But I think you want to. You're more interested in seeing the last cutscene. I'm pretty sure it's the last cutscene at least. So let's just get it done. A clear light. That shines only from within the shadows. This feeling. I know it well. Ah. Is this the sea? Little moon. Almighty sea. I have always cherished you deeply in my heart. My sea. So beautiful and generous, yet powerful, dreaded by its foes. My tear crown, but now I dream of another sea. One where I can walk on two legs on the ground up above. I see. Your heart ripples like moonlight reflected on the surface of the water. Yes. And I tremble with excitement as if I'm dreaming. And yet, you are afraid. I tremble as I'm already walking the ground above. Although water surrounds me at every moment. Will you reach him? No, not for now. But someday. Lord Oyster, may I enter? No, I... I wish to rest a bit longer. Everyone's crumbling to hear your story about the ship and how you were... The sole survivor? I will explain everything soon, so please, wait, just for today, for I just want one more day, to lose myself in a dream, bathed in moonlight from above. Okay, so that is indeed it, for at least right now, until we have to continue on, and of course there are all the levels that I still need to go through, but like, I'd rather like save up my quotes for until the next update, but... I want to end the video, but there's still more comments I need to read through. I'm sorry if, like, I had a negative attitude, but, like, I genuinely care so much that I kind of had, like, a, I don't know, a venti-filled head as of recently, so I'm not sure if I should just make a straight-up vent video, but, uh, I don't know, that's just me, but... 
There's a bunch of comments from A Gamer 360 who left some rather long comments. I'm just gonna try and speed run through them. I sorry, but like we are at like 30 minutes into the video, including with the cuts and stuff. Uh, one comment says Avalon will be on my let the Avery Dragon steal the light power list next to Elder Custer due to their greed. It makes about much sense as it should. Comment question of the day: Well, the mermaid cookies got absolutely great designs. Like they're great. They're absolutely the best NPCs designed in the event. I mean, I did say choose one, but I guess he just said all of them. Here we have the Sea Fairy Soulstone, Moonlight Soulstone. Didn't know Moonlight turned emo. Black Fashion. Yes, I know. I'm. I, I, I need to punch myself with how much I like suck. I, that's how much I just suck, dude. I suck so much at the plumbing game. I just suck. <sighs> Leave all the hate comments that you can because I'm gonna get the worst cookie run YouTuber. Uh, another comment said, uh, Well, by Big Two, I meant the scrolls and the watches ever since they got released. Pilgrim Scroll and Jelly Watch are the meta ones, and the Jelly Watch is a common and was meta for two years before it got an epic variant, but the common one is still usable and you don't have an epic one at max. Uh, and the third treasure is situational, like it's a slot for the Sugar Swan Feather, the Whistle, and the Rogue Scythe in most cases. Yeah, sounds about right. Uh, Sonic Gamer left a comment saying, I can't believe I didn't bother to check the description. Thanks for telling me. I've been thinking of gifting you a game on Steam. If that does, and that seems kind, but like, you don't have to. I'm not going to force you to. Another comment from uh, Jewel of Gems says, Comment question, I have to say Golden Citroen and Aquamarine because the designs represent the gems they are most to me. Well, that's pretty adorable. Under the cover of Elixir left a comment saying, I don't support the new Gotcha system and I just don't like the new Super Epic Hate Sobs. Wait. Oh, okay, I got you. Uh, an Aryan front house, which is the last comment of the day, saying all gem mermaids are so gorgeous. And Frill Jellyfish Cookie looks cute too. I swore a lot of love for Frill Jellyfish Cookie. Maybe I need to see more of it, but I don't know. That's just me. But with that being said, I need to end the video here and immediately edit it for the morning. If you enjoy the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kick run content. And if you haven't yet or you want to, then subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell to be icon to be to be notified of whatever I do in the future. I really apologize for like my negative attitude, but like, man, I. I just been having like not a rough night but like i don't know something's been going on with my brain recently but i don't know but anyway also in the description there's a link to my merch there's a link to my uh discord called the hype news hub and lastly there's a link to my twitter where there's a link uh where there's like a post where if it reaches 10,000 likes i can get the kick and run youtube set for absolutely free but above all else i will see you entities and guardians in the next video hail the hype beast